everyone, it's Joe here from GeoWarm Security. Today I want to teach you guys how to program in a Honeywell 5821 multi-purpose environmental sensor into an L5200. Alright, this device is really neat because you can do multiple things with it. You can do warm, cold, hot, freezing, flood, or a combination of flood and temperature depending on what application you're using it for. Uh, so pretty much anywhere in the world where you are, this is a very valuable device right here. Okay, what you're going to do is, on the top of the sensor, there's a little flat area for a flathead to pop it open. What we're wiring this up for is actually for flood detection. So for this application, you have to wire it in to these sc two screw terminals here. All right, there's no polarity, meaning there's no positive or negative. So it doesn't matter where you land your wires on here. And you'll notice there's a little hole that it's going to come through and also on the back. All right. While you have the cover off, take note of the serial number and just write that down so you have it. That's what you're going to need to program it into the main panel. Now the other end, this here is the water probe. Okay. So you have the two screw terminals on top, which is where your wire is going to go. And then you have the two holes in the side, which is actually for mounting purposes. So for instance, if you were putting this in a basement for flood detection, uh, you would mount this for however high you would think the water would go, or that you don't want it to go. So basically maybe an eighth of an inch. So that what happens is if the water rises and shorts these two terminals out, it'll put the system into an alarm. All right. Now, when using it for flood detection, you're going to need to put the resistor in parallel with your wiring. So again, the two screw terminals on top, you're going to have one and two, then your resistor is going to go in between both. So you're just going to wrap that, and then you're going to wrap that. So once you have them in place, you just tighten that down. You don't need to over tighten it, just snug. Right. So now you would place your battery in, put your cover back on. You can go ahead and mount that where that's going to end up. Then you're going to go into programming on your panel. In order to go into programming, you're going to hit back, more, tools, 4112. You're going to program, zones, and we're going to program this into zone 2. All right, so you're going to edit. From here, you're going to put your serial number in. After you have your serial number in, done. And now you have to set this up to the right loop number. Uh, like I mentioned before, this is a multi-functional device, so you have to look in your um, directions to see exactly what loop number to set it up as. Uh, we're going to leave it as loop 1, because that's actually what we're using it for. Device type, and this is going to be an environmental sensor. So you arrow down, environmental. Okay, so here you can put your zone description for wherever it's going to end up, in the basement, meter room, so on and so forth. And once you have everything programmed in, you're going to save it, you're going to return, and you're going to hit yes to allow installer to re-enter programming, otherwise you will lock yourself out of programming. Okay. So that is how you install a 5821 multifunctional environmental sensor into an L5200. Any questions or comments, please down below. Otherwise, give us a call at 1-877-4-GEOARM or visit us on our website at www.geoarm.com. Thank you for watching.